So when, it, when we talk about bluegill management, uh, one of the things that we need to do sometimes is make the distinction between males and females. And we don't, certainly we're not requiring anglers in the state of Minnesota to identify their fish uh, to, to gender, but it does help uh, to be able to do so. Uh, particularly because of how bluegills have this alternative uh, life stage. In this case, our females are pretty consistent, they're spawners. Um, they, we like to see them delay sexual maturity till they're older so that they're putting most of their resources towards growth and not reproduction. Similarly with males, we want parental large males that guard nests and fend off smaller uh, sort of inferior males. So being able to tell the two fish apart, uh, you are looking for a few specific characteristics. In the world of fisheries, uh, we look at quantitative differences and we call them meristics. And some of the meristics that are, are sort of things you can point to to tell them apart. We have a couple ways that, uh, that from just the shape of the fish we can tell them apart. And that's usually a, a, the ear tab, the black ear tab that you see on the opercle uh, or the gill cover is very elongate and very large on a male. So this is a real obvious male, uh, really dark in complexion. Uh, as spawning season comes, it's gonna be very dark like this. You see the bluish on the gills and an orange breast. I'm gonna contrast that with a female. She's probably not to, to sexual maturity yet, but you can see that big difference, right? Smaller ear tab, a lighter yellowish breast, and not the same sort of sloping overarching forehead here. So when we look at those differences side by side, you can kind of see the, the male stands out uh, versus the female. So for the anglers that are making decisions about what fish they want to keep for the pan, this is an important point. Uh, we, you can certainly want to encourage folks to, to harvest the smaller fish and let the larger fish go. And then at a finer scale, you can really distinguish between the males and females. We want those males that are building nests. We want to keep those in the lake uh, to provide parental care. And if you have the chance to select between the two and you are going to keep some larger fish for the pan, try to go home with those females. 